welcome back to my video. This is day three of the cruise and I was just talking to mom this morning and it feels like we've been on this cruise for a very long time but we've only been on for three days anyway welcome back to day three of my cruise if you haven't seen my other cruise videos I'm gonna put a link above and a link in the description box below so you can see days one and two anyway today we are at sea we're not gonna port anywhere and the funny thing is that um, we had decided to get up early in the morning so that we could eat breakfast before all the events start however we didn't change our clocks up Apparently, I guess we're flying through another time zone change. So we were supposed to set our watches back like an hour. And so we got up and then we were all set to go into the cafeteria to eat or the uh, restaurant to eat. And they weren't open. And I said, what time do you guys open? And she said, six o'clock. And I looked at my watch and my watch said it was 642. But it was actually 542. So we could have slept an extra hour. But anyway, but um, should be a fun day. It looks like we have um, what is called a stage door experience, which is um, like an autograph. You sign up for, uh, you stand in line and uh, they autograph something for you. Um, the talent will come out and autograph. So um, each day, and I'll show this to you, but each day when you wake up, there is like a little thing from uh, Sixth Man and it is in your door. So I got this today for the 15th and it tells you the most updated schedule if there are any changes and this one is for the stage door experience as you can see uh, today is Carrie Butler, Reeve Carney, Matt Doyle, Abby Mueller and Ann Ali Stoker so um, that should be really good. Before I came on the cruise, I made this book from Shutterfly. As you can see, there's a little pouch right here for any kind of souvenirs. But this is basically an autograph book that I made. And it has pictures of me with everybody on the cruise from different stage door experiences, from different shows that I've seen throughout the years. As you can see, this is Santino's pages. And he has the most because I've seen him in everything. But I thought this would be a good way to get autographs and a great souvenir. Today is uh, Santino Fontana's concert. So I'm very excited about that. It's the first night of his concert, so I'm going to be standing in line. As you remember, I don't know if you remember yesterday, but we went when we went to Cheyenne Jackson's concert, it was chaotic. It was so chaotic. The, everybody was standing all over the place. People who had been waiting in line for like hours were told to stand outside. It was just so chaotic. And when the doors opened, everybody just rushed it. It was... I think that they need a little better system for those. Um, the the main headliner shows, we already have reserved seats and tickets, so that's not too bad. We just come in, we don't have to wait, we just go to our assigned seats. But for um, some of the smaller shows, uh, like the one Santino is doing today, uh, it's probably going to be really bad because it's first come, first serve, there are no assigned seats, people wait there for hours. And um, there's really no la like line. It's just people are just waiting there in front of the door for it to begin. So you could be waiting there for a long time but not get in for quite a while. So we'll see about that. I'm hoping to get a good seat. Obviously, I, I came on this cruise in order to see Santino perform. And so this is like one of my major things that I want to do today. Um, also, the headliner concert today is Christian Borrell, so very excited to see him. Those are the two concerts that I want to see today. And so, anyway, day three. Here we go. So breakfast was pretty good. I went to the omelette station. This particular omelette, I wanted to have mushrooms, ham, spinach, and bacon. It was actually really, really good. All right, so I just got back from the stage door experience and that's where you can get autographs from all of the people who are on the ship. There are only half of them that were giving autographs today and um, it was so ridiculous. We got in line about an hour and a half early and I had number 90. So there were like 80, 89 people ahead of me in line and I got there like an hour and a half early. It was ridiculous. but. Um, the line was super long behind us. Um, I didn't get a video of the entire line, but I got a video of some of the lines so you can get kind of an idea. I don't know if they all got in. It was a, it was a madhouse. And they let people in by like uh, groups of 50. 
and they didn't monitor where you went. Um, the artists were scattered all around the room and you could pick and choose who you, whose line you wanted to stand in. And nobody really monitored whether or not you left the area. They just kind of, uh, you went in, you stood in their li other people's lines. And by the time you got out and you went in, they every 15 minutes or so, they would let another 50 group of people come in. So these people who were all the way in the back of the line, uh, they were standing in front of me for some of these lines because I was spending my time waiting in other people's lines. It was not really ideal. I would think that what would be probably better is if there was just one line going through the whole thing. And so you make sure that you get to see everyone. I was a little worried that I wasn't gonna get to see Matt Doyle because his line was super long. So instead of going to him first, he was the first one um, that was situated at the front of the room. I went to the back. I started off with the lines that were really short and then at the end I went into his line and I thought oh my gosh I'm not gonna get a chance to see him but thankfully I did. Anyway I brought my Broadway book uh, like I was telling you and it actually was a big hit. Everybody really liked it when I was standing in line. Um, you can see right here Carrie Butler signed it. Um, <laughs> And she was so funny because I was showing her the book and she was like, wow, that's really neat. And then she started to sign it and she goes, wait, did you want me to sign it? And I was like, yes, yes, please sign it. And she's like, oh my God. I was like, what if I just ruined her book? <laughs> anyway, she was super sweet. And um, like you can see right here, I got like Reeve Carney and uh, Matt Doyle and everybody, everybody was super nice. And I actually made it through and I saw everyone. Uh, the thing about this year versus last year was this year they said absolutely no photos. So um, we couldn't take photos with them. Last year they did. It was kind of disappointing. Um, you couldn't take photos with them or selfies with them. But um, if you were to take photos like standing in line at them, like not holding up the line in any way, I th uh, you know, people were doing that and that seemed to be okay. Uh, I, I took a few photos, so um, I'm going to post those after this so you can see some of the people that were give signing autographs. But So Carrie Butler was super, super sweet. And even Abby Mueller. Abby Mueller was so nice and fun to talk to. Matt Doyle's line was long but he ended up being very personable. Reeve Carney's line was actually the longest and he spoke with everyone and Ali Stroker was just a joy. Anyway, it was a fun experience. Up next is Santino's concert. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly update about Santino's show. We showed up at four o'clock, which was about two and a half hours early for his show. Um, I saw him run in. I said, hi Santino, and he said, hi Sherry, but he was rushing, so I didn't want to bother him. He went in, and um, when he came out, he looks at me and he says, I'm early. I'm really early, so he had to go back to his room. I thought actually that was the perfect time to ask him for a photo because, you know, he wasn't with his family, you know, I wasn't bothering family time and, you know, he didn't seem to be in a rush anywhere. He was actually going back to his room. So I asked him for a photo and I got a photo. So I'm so happy about that. I was so excited to get my photo with Santino and it turned out really well. My mom was really worried because she's the one who took it, but it turned out great. The line was much, much better this this time. It was very organized. They had a stand outside um, of the... Um, of the ship like right outside by the uh, the ship's edge and we made one long line that they just let everyone in and I was at the front of the line which was funny because all the people who I was standing in line with uh, during the autograph session they all were like ah we knew you were gonna be first in line because I had said that I was here to see Santino obviously anyway Santino show was great what he did was he picked numbers out of a little bowl um, a little thing that um, would determine what song he sang and they were all numbers in there and um, he actually picked me so um, I got to pick a number and I picked the number nine and he said oh because she came from so far where did you come from and he puts the mic to me and I said Hawaii and then everybody was like oh and then this lady in the back of me was like I came from Poland <laughs> Actually, she traveled very far. Where did you come from? Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh. Oh. All right, number nine. From where? Poland. You're kidding. Oh, yes. You can't. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. In my house, if it's funny, it wins. So, uh, my friend Scott was saying, oh, she, he just, 
she just ruined your thunder. She just stole your thunder. And I was like, it was just funny though. But I got to keep the little piece of paper. So that's a very good um, memory of the show. The show was funny. It was great. It's crazy. <laughs> we finish each other's sandwiches. That's what I was going to say. I never met someone who thinks so much like me. Jinx. Jinx again. Our mental synchronization can have but one explanation. You and I were just meant to be. Norm Lewis was also at Santino's concert, so I got to take a picture with him. After that, we went to go eat at a uh, Chinese place called Lotus Garden. Um, it wasn't the best. It had some interesting flavors. But it wasn't the best food that I've eaten. It wasn't the best Chinese food that I've eaten. But it was actually good to eat like um, Asian food again. Um, we had pot stickers. We had like this Peking chicken noodles. Uh, it was okay. Anyway, and then we went to see Christian Borrell's performance. Christian, as you know, is a very shy. He is a good actor, he's a great actor, and he usually is very outrageous when he's on stage as a character, but he has the hardest time being on stage as himself, so this, this uh, concert was very, very hard for him. And I knew it was very hard for him, but he did a really good job, and he sang one of my favorite songs from the very first time that I saw him on Broadway, which was um, uh, Jimmy's song from Thoroughly Modern Millie, so I was really happy about that. That was really great. And we are back at the hotel and we are very very tired so we're gonna sleep we're gonna get up early tomorrow it, we're gonna dock in the Cayman Islands and we have an adventure plan for tomorrow so anyway thanks for joining me